What's up guys, Jake here, and today I'm bringing you guys a quick little Overwatch video. We're going to be talking about how to counter Farah because I know a lot of people are talking about this, but I feel like it needs to be hammered in because sometimes Farah can just rinse your team, and um, if your teammates don't do anything about it, then you're pretty much shit out of luck. And I'm going to have this video uh, muted because sometimes I like to listen to music and stuff, and uh, for this one, for this gameplay, I was actually listening to Andre Bocelli, so um, yeah. As you guys can see here, I was playing Mei to start this game, but obviously that's not great against Farah unless you somehow can catch her on the ground. And a good Farah can be really frustrating to play against, especially if your team is shit, because it can be really difficult to deal with her uh, if you don't do it properly. So what are some good counters to Farah? Well, the main two that people think of are the long-range DPS hit scans like Soldier and McCree. Now, those can be good if they get close enough, but the problem is Farah can a lot of the times get away uh, because their damage drop-off at range is so high. So the hero I think way more people need to start using to counter Farah is Widowmaker. Widowmaker is insane at taking out Farah. It's a one-shot headshot on Farah, and even a body shot, you know, one or two, is usually good enough. You hit her once, you know, a full-powered body shot, uh, most of the time your teammates, if you're running like a soldier or McCree, can probably take her out, and she can just do a lot of work. You can see here, as soon as I switched, I took her out, and I was like, guys, I, I got this, all right? So yeah, if you have moderately good aim, I would highly recommend using Widowmaker to counter Farah. Because you can really just decimate her, especially if your teammates, like I said, are helping you out. Um, but yeah, another really good one that I like to play a lot anyway is Zenyatta. Now Zenyatta is awesome because even though it's a little bit difficult to aim at Farah with Zenyatta, you can do quite a bit of work uh, if you give her the Discord Orb, you know, give her that good D, and then uh, your teammates can really kind of clean her up. I found a little bit of Zenyatta gameplay, uh, just demonstrating how badly you can destroy Farah, and keep in mind. This, these shots that I land on her, she wasn't even discorded. I probably should have discorded first, but here I started charging up uh, Zenton's ultimate attack, and I actually hit like every shot and killed her. So, yeah, that just goes to show you that you can really decimate Farah with Zenyatta. Another one that works not quite as well as Widow, obviously, but Ana can be quite good as well. If she's already your healer, then it's not too big a deal for her to look up every now and then and fire a couple shots. And although her her damage was nerfed, she's still you know pretty decent as well. And another one that's sort of a counter, but not really. Because when I think of a counter, I think of something that is going to kill, you know, the the opposing hero. But uh, another one that's actually pretty good is D.Va, because her defense matrix can just eat all the rockets. And she can fly up, uh, you know, use the defense matrix. Uh, or when she's using rocket barrage, you can defense matrix that. And a lot of the splash damage can actually hit far. And overall, she's just good at, like, defending your team against her rockets if... Your teammates aren't very good at actually taking out the Farah with their gun skill. Uh, so Farah is very good. She can be tough to kill, but there's definitely a lot of great options. I highly recommend Widowmaker. She's just insane at it. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Peace.